Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Boy, we got a crazy one for you guys today. This episode is special. As you guys can see, we have two of the most sought after and most popular SUVs in the industry today. Now, it's an arguable fact which one takes spot one, which one takes spot two. This discussion could be argued for days and you guys will have all kinds of opinions on it. Well, we wanna hear that opinion. I wanna know, is the Cullinan in the number one spot or the Urus in the number one spot? We see both of them equal at our shop the demand is equal out there both sexy vehicles two completely different animals one brings you luxury comfort elegance the other one brings you sexiness edge appeal and sportiness obviously so two different animals like I said the reason we have these two here today is because they're both equipped on the same wheel both vehicles were running the d100 dual block both in the 24 inch both vehicles lowered both vehicles heavily specced out from factory so you know it's 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 a juggle you know what I mean like it, it's it's something that you guys got to tell me what you guys think what do you guys think takes the number one spot and number two spot I'm gonna give you guys the rundown of the top six SUVs in my opinion the number one and number two spot is up for grabs number three I'm gonna say it's gonna be the Mercedes-Benz G63 which is extremely popular number four I want to say the Cadillac Escalade comes in number four the Range Rover comes in number five in my opinion and then the sixth spot for me is the Bentley SUV. The reason I say the Range Rover in the fifth spot because we haven't seen the new one yet. Maybe when the new one hits the streets, we get our hands on it and we play with it a little bit, I might change my mind. But currently, that's the top six slots for me in the most popular and most demanded SUVs in the industry today. With that said, again, we're going back to my question to you guys. I want you guys to comment right now and tell me which of these vehicles takes spot one, which one takes spot two. Talk to me. Let me let me know what you guys think and which one would you guys choose and drive personally? Standing next to a 2021 Lamborghini Urus. If you guys have been watching this, you guys have seen how specced out this car is. The interior is nuts. It's out of here. It's lowered on lowering links and it's wrapped on 24 inch dual block staggered wheels. The wheel is finished in a brushed aluminum. We have custom floating Lamborghini caps and the stance is just beautiful. This thing you can drive every day literally and you won't have any problems. You have enough meat on the tire. The wheels accommodate the car real well. We wanted to run the D100 here because we wanted that vintage DTM style look and we feel like it accompanies this car and this model very well. This is the first time that we've ever ran the D100 on a Lamborghini. You guys tell me what you guys think. Tell me if the wheel belongs on this car. And going back to me saying that it's a dual block, the reason we ran a dual block is because when it's a two-piece wheel, from the exterior cosmetically, it gives it a one-piece look, but it's two-piece and we're able to play with the rear concavity. So so I think this car sits beautifully. The 24 inch D100 suits it very well. Along with that, this vehicle is for sale. So it's available for immediate delivery. The car has a little under 4,500 miles. So for serious inquiries, please either direct messages at our Instagram page, which is at platinum underscore group, or you guys can send us an email, which is info at platinummotorsport.com.
And here we have a 2022 Rolls Royce Cullinan around here. We like to call them Cullies. This one is a Tempest Gray, unreal spec. Tempest Gray lowered on lowering links as well on 24 inch D100 dual blocks. Again, the reason we chose to go with the dual block, when you guys see the rear wheel, you guys will definitely understand what I'm talking about. Dual block just gives you so much more concavity, gives you more depth and ability to play with the offsets. The Tempest Gray looks crazy on a, on a larger scale car. You guys have seen, you know, Kim's Ghost. You guys have seen the Maybach. You know, some of the, the colors that we've been playing with as of late. Gray has been extremely popular, just like on the G-Wagons, the Arabian Gray, so on and so forth. So, you know, gray is just a popular lit color, you know, in the current marketplace. So this one, what we did is we removed all the lower textures, the factory textures on the vehicle, primered, prepped, painted them body color. So we lose that plastic feel. Along with that, we detrimmed all the exterior chrome painted those in the Tempest Gray as well. And the only things we ran in a brushed aluminum was the wheels. It obviously accepts the factory Rolls Royce cap. We also went ahead and played with the badges all the way around the vehicle. There's four Rolls Royce badges. We ran them in a Tempest Gray background and we filled the Rolls Royce insignia in black. So I think it makes this car look wider, longer, and it just, you know, changes the whole perspective of a large scale vehicle when everything is painted monotone. So again, a beautiful spec, the interior is out of here. This car literally has delivery miles. It's, it's under 75 miles. It's brand new. It's a 2022. Tell me what you guys think, comment. We would love to hear what you guys think. If you guys would run a 24 inch wheel, on your Cully or you would run, run a 26 inch wheel. I would love to hear the comments and see what you guys would personally do. It is also available for sale. So the vehicle is available for immediate delivery. So if you guys you know, would love to inquire about the car, either direct message us again, or you guys can send us the email. We'll put up both on the screen so you guys know where you guys can reach reach out to us at. You know, less is more as J Bell says. You know, we didn't, we didn't, sometimes you don't need to do a body kit and you don't need to do crazy wheels. This thing, all monotone. Tempest Gray, 24 inch dual block wheels, lowered, smooth. Again, we can't get enough of this interior, but I'm gonna let the interior do the speaking itself. I mean, need I say more? Check this thing out.